Slovaks living abroad, members of the Slovak diaspora, Slovak descendants. This is immigration attorney Parviz Malakuti. And I wanted to do this real quick video just to show you what a birth certificate looks like from an ancestor in Slovakia. So this is a birth certificate from Slovakia. As you can see, the uh, birth date is um, May 29th, 1881, excuse me, and the birth town is Dubrava. So this is what it looks like. It has the words Rodni list on the top. It's green. It feels good. It feels sturdy. It's, it's high quality paper. Unfortunately for us in the United States, it's bigger than the normal size documents that we're used to, which is 11 inches. So it's kind of a hassle to, uh, to store. I have to fold it to put it in here. But uh, if you're applying for a Slovak living abroad certificate or Slovak citizenship or you need you need an, anse an ancestor's birth certificate from Slovakia for whatever reason, this is what it looks like, okay? Now, with regards to how to get it, you can get it yourself. I took the easy route, okay? I use an amateur genealogist to get it. I think I ended up paying 70 euros, something like that. Um, I'd rather basically go through, through paying somebody else to go through the trouble, but it can be done on uh, your own as well. Uh, if you're going through a process of getting a Slovak living abroad certificate or Slovak citizenship, or you're interested in both, make sure you join our Facebook group. It's called Slovak Living Abroad Certificate and Slovak Citizenship easy to remember, right? And we have over a thousand members right now, all people that are into their Slovak identity and basically applying for one of those two things. So we'd love to have you in that community. Uh, that's it. If you have any general questions, throw them in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them. If you have any specific questions you need to get into your particular situation, click on the link below, book a consultation. I'll do my best to help you. So that's it. Good luck.